Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Maria and I'm so happy that you took some time today to watch this video. So today I'm super, super excited. I am going to try on the new Hermes blush collection. So I did pick up, pick up one blush. I picked up one lip uh, enhancer and I picked up the travel brush. I was so excited when I heard that Hermes was going to be expanding their beauty line. I am a huge fan of their lipsticks, their lip balms, their poppy lip shine. Poppy lip shine is one of my all time favorite lip products, any brand combined. I absolutely love that product. Um, so when I heard they were coming out with these, I had to pick it up. So I was saving because they are pricey. Um, and I didn't go crazy during the Sephora Rouge sale, which by the way, I ordered on day one of the Rouge sale and it has still not arrived. I don't know what is up with Sephora. Anyway, on a tangent, but um, these arrived within 24 hours. I ordered them on Thursday on the launch date, April 15th, and they were delivered on Friday 16th yesterday. So I've been very excited to have a moment today to film to open these up. So let's get right into it. So first the blush. Now all of them come in this white box. Um, you see that it has some like fibers in there because they use recycled paper. Um, so I got number 28 Rose Plume. And so you open it up. Here it says that it's a magnetic closure. And then it comes in this orange box. That's like a little, just like the lipsticks, it's a little drawer. And then here is the, here is the compact. Very, very lightweight. Um, so the top is like a plastic, the same logo as they have on their lipsticks. And the back is like a brushed, the brushed metal. Then we open it up. Okay, the mirror. So there's this plastic here to protect. And there is a rose plume, number 28. So we're gonna try that on. It's very nice. And on the back, is there a scent? Yeah, there is a, uh, there is a scent to it. I don't know if it's one of uh, Hermès's um, perfumes, but it's not the same scent as the lipsticks. It's nice though, I like it. It's not too overwhelming, I assure you. Um, and then at the back, there's a little hole. So they will be selling refills. I think in some locations they are selling refills already. Anyway, um, what I saw at Hope Run Through and on the Hermes website, the refills are not yet available, but the point is we'll be able to pop out the tin when we're done and replace it with a refill. But from, the, from what I've seen on um, Angela Van Rose's review that she posted today, um, the, the refills are difficult to take out. So I think we were expecting it to be magnetic. Well, I was anyway, but apparently it's a little bit glued, lightly glued, but a little bit glued. So it is a bit of a struggle to replace, to, to replace the blush. So it might not be the best idea to just buy one compact and then refills and easily pop them in and out. That might not be the case. So that's this. Then I got the travel sized brush. I didn't buy the full sized brush. Maybe I will, we'll see. So it comes wrapped in some tissue paper. Okay. And here it is. It's so cute. And it says Hermes Paris right there. So the beautiful gold brush that's a, pretty much the same format as the lipstick nice angled 
Um, the travel brush is made with synthetic fibers, whereas their regular brush is made from goat hair, from what I read on the website. It's extremely soft. So we're gonna try the blush with this. And then last but not least, I picked up a lip enhancer. I got it in number 49, Rose Tan. Now, um, when I was looking at the, the different shades, to me, they looked almost all the same on the lip. So I ended up choosing by the packaging of which one I liked the color the most of. And then we'll see if I decide to get more, we'll see. But, so it's the same as their lipsticks comes with the little dust bag. And here is Rose Tan. I just fell in love with this dusty rose base. That is my absolute favorite shade of pink. So it was a no brainer. I had to get the Rose Tan. So again, magnetic top. And here is the bullet, it says Hermès. So we're gonna do some swatches on my hands. So first off, the, um, the lip enhancer. So I'm putting a little bit on. So that's a couple streaks and we'll see how that changes. You can see already it's like darkening at the tip of the bullet. So it's already changing color from the from the contact with the skin. So what this product does is it adjusts to your lip pH and then the blush we're gonna swatch that. So rose plume Okay, here it is all beautiful. I'm about to put my finger in it. Um, it has this really pretty, like, I don't know if you can see it, but a really pretty, like, streaks in it. It's to represent um, their silk twillies. So it's really beautiful and it really does look like their silk twillies. Okay. So I have some on my finger and That is the blush, a rose plume. It's really soft pink. It's exactly what I was looking for. So let's try this on. Okay, I just barely tapped, so it picks up the product very easily. This is a buildable blush. It almost gives like a nice airbrushed finish. Now I went for a very light shade but because I realized I wanted something different from the blushes I have. The blushes I have are darker, a little more intense. Let's see. Oh yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh, I'm very happy with that. And just something to note, when I did just tap the brush, you do see little speckles of powder there around. So I'm just gonna lightly pick that up to not lose that powder. Yeah, there's definitely a fragrance to it. There's definitely a fragrance to it, but it's not overpowering. But if you don't like fragrances in your makeup, you might not like this because you can definitely smell it. 
Very happy, very happy with this. And now let's try the lip enhancer. Okay. Just wanna make sure I'm nothing on my lips. <laughs> So it feels like a very matte lip balm. It's not sticky in the least. Zero, zero taste, zero fragrance. Rose tan. I do like this formula. It feels really, really nice. Now it's to see if it holds up, like how much you need to reapply it. We will, only time will tell. I'll be able to give you guys a review after I use these a little bit. But today I just really wanted to take a few moments to share with you guys the pieces that I chose. Let me know if you are gonna be picking any of these up and if so, what colors you decided on. Um, I'm very excited about this collection. I'm very, very excited about this collection. Um, I'm not saying that I'm gonna pick a ton up because like I said, they are pricey, but you know, maybe eventually I'll consider getting another shade of the blush if I do enjoy it because I think that finish is absolutely beautiful. There's zero streaks. Um, I think it has a very glowy finish. I love it. It's This color is really nice. It's really, really nice for me. I like that it's like subtle. So there you go. Um, I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know if you're picking any of these up and what colors you chose on. Um, and yeah, I really like this lip. I think it's a great, just easy keeping your purse throw on, but it has a little bit more personality than just a lip balm, which is why I love the Poppy Lip Shine so much. But the Poppy Lip Shine has like almost a glossy finish to it because it has some shine in there. I'm still such a fan of the Poppy Lip Shine. Um, but I think this is a really good one to keep in your purse and just easily throw on. It just has a little bit of a tint, kind of like the Dior Lip Glow. So I'm very, very happy. <laughs> so on that note, I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful day. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are interested in joining my YouTube family, please don't hesitate and click on that subscribe button. I do post on Tuesdays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern and uh, vlogs on Sundays. So on that note, I wish you guys a wonderful day and I'll see you guys very soon.